Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook cover slideshow. So on my desktop I've got this folder and I've got these five pictures in here and the first picture and the last picture are exactly the same and then there's four different ones that sit in the middle and each picture is 8 to 8 by 315 so you want to make a note of that 828 by 315 that's the size that you need to create the image so if I open up Firefox quickly here you can see a mock-up of an image it's 828 by 315 and the picture looks something like this here so let's go ahead and open up the web browser I'm logged into my Facebook page and right now I've got a still image here so I'm going to click on change cover and then edit slideshow and the first picture is already done if you don't see a picture there you can add a picture but you can see the plus sign to add some more so I'm going to click on this plus sign and I'm going to say upload photo and then I'm going to click on this this one here and click open and it will upload that image and I'll click this one upload I'll select the second one and we'll do one more we'll pick I've done an extra one actually so we'll pick uh, we'll pick this one now, I've kind of got an option I can either have the last slide again as the same as the first one or a completely different one so I could in theory pick this one but I'm going to pick the same slide as the beginning one let's click open so if the image is too large you can it says drag to reposition so you can reposition it but these images are pretty much the right size for the slider they're quite accurate so I'll click save and now we have a slideshow and this could have been any content inside of this slideshow it happens to be um, these images these selection of images in theory because the first and last one are the same uh, we could change that so let's go back and edit let's uh, edit this one upload and we'll pick this picture here Okay, so we're all done. We've got the first slide here, the second one, the third one, the fourth, and the fifth. And if you were to check that on mobile, this actually works on mobile as well. So it's quite a nice little feature. Uh, you could have special offers in here, or they could have been about competitions or something new in your business. It could be anything that you want. I've just done this as an example. So I hope you find that tutorial useful, and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.